Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Sixers here and welcome back to another video. Grab the Ox 13. Shit, it's another episode of Grab the Ox. <sighs> Feels like I haven't done this forever, but it's only been like three weeks. Let's, uh, let's get into the music, yeah. First up for this week and we're starting this thing off. Nice, strong as hell. Like strong as hell, but With um, this week's auto cine feature, which is uh, uh, a very feature by I Love Bass. Like if you watch this series, honestly, you should know who the fuck I Love Bass is. By now, at least. Cause like, I featured them like a good five, five. I'm gonna sing five, but like a good, a good amount of times for like one person to remember. Oh yeah, I Love Bass, those guys from that other guy's video and shit that they used for um, this, well, it's like a really long video when they went to Grand Stands. I'm a track by Boy Racers. Now Boy Racers is like a really, it's a pretty new account on SoundCloud. They only got two tracks out. They used one of the two tracks and this is um, New Beginnings. Apparently Clacy Jones is like one half of Boy Racers, I'm not too sure, but yeah. Straight after that is the other track by Boy Racers, which is Tina, Tina and Gina's End. Um, it sounds more of an instrumental than an instrumental song. I don't know if you like you know the difference between those two. But yeah, I had one or two people listen to it and they they felt like it was missing lyrics, which doesn't happen often with this music. But I don't I don't dispute it. It sounds like that low key. <laughs> Um, straight after that, we have the guy in question, Clacy Jones, um, with, I think it's like the first project he released like, back in January. I only discovered it now after discovering Boy Racers, so I'm very late to the party. By the way, Clacy's got a project out, like one that came after this, actually inspired by Stranger Things 2. Track in question now, released by Terror Rhythm. Well, both projects are released by Terror Rhythm, so what am I saying? But Area 55 on the Foreign Bias Club EP. It should be something on the screen now telling you where to get it and a link in the description. So if you want to support the mans, go for it. I did. I don't regret it. <laughs> <laughs> the second ever or third ever R&B feature in this series. I don't know, but I stumbled onto the song and I fell in love with it like with the quickness. It's just it's so nice. Like her voice is amazing, honestly. I just don't know how to say her name. I don't know if it's Cheryl or Cheryl. Um, she's from Hong Kong or Chinese, but I just don't know how she pronounces her name. This is what it looks like. I, I don't... Mm, sorry Cheryl if you're watching this. But um this is side effects from a wherever it may be EP released by Fate A Records. Um not that long ago either. I haven't listened to the whole EP yet. Like I downloaded it, I'm just waiting to, you know, get time to listen to it. I'll probably listen to it after recording this. After my medicine, I'll turn away from every side of life that's worth Twitter, then you'll know if I have. Mm -hmm. um, straight after that is the boy Beast, Mr. Avery Chandler. Chances are you're gonna know this guy from YouTube. Like, he had like this one video that went viral. School sucks. 
School fucking sucks so bad. First of motherfucking all, they got me waking up at the ass crack of dawn before every fucking thing on this planet wake up. He raps too. Like, he's not just a good YouTuber, but he's an amazing rapper. And this track is called Dear Diary off of his Left on the Red album. Released independently, which is like fucking dope. I'm not gonna say much. I'm just gonna let it, let the song speak for itself, because I'm just gonna like saturate it, honestly. I'm I was working minimum wage, making seven twenty five, flipping burgers for a clown. That shit really did open my eyes. I ain't ever going back to working that bitch again in my life, nigga. I would rather die than to do that for the rest of my. Next up, we have an OG, an OG to the series, an OG for me, one of like the greatest inspirations for me personally, and like the reason why I love wave music so much. That boy, careful, man, like careful, yeah. Um, we released another album this year, Alchemy, and this is like one of the tracks off of that, Ultraviolet, my personal favorite track off the whole project. I think it's like everyone's personal favorite, honestly, because it's just. It's a vibe, like it's, boy, like I had one person listen to the song and they fell in love with it like immediately. It was just like, oh, yeah. By um, Trapdoor Records, I'm surprised he didn't like release it on Liquid Ritual because like that's his imprint. There, there's probably like reasons behind that. I'm not too sure, but yeah, Ultraviolet off of the Alchemy EP by Album EP. Is there a difference between an album and EP these days? I don't, I don't know. Support the man's, yeah. Just buy the shit, man. Just support the guy. Um, next up after that we have like an oldie, an oldie. I stumbled onto this like at random, honestly, and I just could not ignore it. Um, Adams HD. It's actually Adams 1080p. But I'm, I'm not about to say Adams 1080p. That's that's just a mouthful. So Adams HD. Um, released like way back in 2014. Like an Adamus. Oh, Adamus 1080p. My bad. I read that wrong. I get to feel like this is one of the producers that like caught onto what Wave was way back then. But just you know, I don't know. Had like producers block or something, and just never really got back to it. Cause like his sound is so nice. I kind of wish that he continued. But yeah, this is broken by Adamus HD 1080p. Straight after that, we got um, double O E one zero, like O O E one. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that into like a word, but this track's called Ido. Came back after like a seven month producer block. Man's gonna make shit for seven months straight, and I'm so happy that he came back. <laughs> Disappeared from the interwebs so like a good actually I actually like lost count. That's how long this guy went off deity Deity is like one of the main guys behind never amount to anything the collective that I always talk about I think he's one of the founding members because I know which is like the guy and then deity is probably like second in command or some shit like that I'm not too sure but deity is back with two tracks and I'm featuring them both because I like the guy's music that much First track is Typhoon. What can I say about Typhoon? I'm not gonna say shit. I'm just gonna let the song speak for itself after that is um shine
last for this week is um someone South African. This is uh Kevin XX. Remember LJ from like a couple weeks ago? This is the man's best friend. Shout out to you, Kevin. He did the tings on this song actually, I'm not even gonna lie. Ah five sons. Like I've been waiting for this guy to like release more music since Nawa and it, it seems like he, he heard my cries and he released not only this track which came after like his Wave Mob release which I'm still gonna feature by the way it just got mixed up in like the orders and shit This is Obsidian Born by Five Sons repping the Netherlands as <laughs> Skip would say on you so <laughs> enjoy the music direct link for the playlist is going to be in the description as it always is at the end card in the bottom right hand corner where my hand is right here it's gonna be here so you can just click on that follow me on Twitter you know the format by now I'm gonna tweet the video and then directly after that I'll tweet the video I'm in mean, the playlist as well so you can just jump straight to it because I know you're not trying to see this ugly face talk about the music all day apart from that make sure you subscribe to man's channel yeah thanks for 200 once again like I'm gonna say this for like a good three weeks until until you get bored of it and shit but yeah, I love your guys' support, man. Honestly, it means the world to me because it just gives me more and more reason to do shit like this. So yeah, it's been your boy Sixes. It's been another episode of Grab the Ox, episode 13, bitch. 13, motherfucker. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay fly.